So good day everyone. Welcome once again to our computer class. Okay? Today what we will be having is called asynchronous class. That means teacher cannot see you right now virtually and teacher will just be having this recorded video to discuss our lesson for this day. Today, here are our objectives. First is to give examples of workplaces that use computers. Second is, is to tell the different uses of computers in the workplaces. Okay? As what we have discussed last week, computers are not just used for entertainment and for studies. It is also used for work. Diba? So today, what we're going to discuss is about jobs and computers, okay? Many people use computers at work, okay? Just like your teachers right now, okay? We cannot teach you without computer because our mode of teaching is online. Many kinds of computers help people with their jobs. Probably right now, some of us use the same kinds of computer. Maybe desktop, laptop, iPad, or tablets, right? So, we use those computers to do our jobs for us to teach you, okay? Pero sa inyo, we use your computers to play and to study, okay? Or sometimes to watch videos or movies. So now, let's talk about other people who use computers to, to make their work easy. Okay. Do you have any idea who are those people? So this time we'll be having a short activity before I'll finally reveal who these persons are. Okay. So we will have a this game. Okay, so you will fill out letters to complete the words presented in your front. Okay, basing on that picture, what do you think is that word? I'll be giving you 10 seconds to guess that. Up. So that person in the picture is called a cashier. Do you know what it what a, what a cashier is? Okay, cashiers use the computer to keep track of the money they count to produce a receipt. Okay, they are the ones who are receiving payment for the things we buy from the market. They usually work in groceries or as what i've said also in the market okay they are somehow different from sari sari store vendors have you ever been in a sari sari store have you ever bought something in the sari sari store i guess you have okay so what's the difference teacher cashiers use machines in order to count money because they are receiving more payments than a size size store vendor. They receive bigger amounts. They are computing bigger payments compared to a size size store vendor. That's why they use computers to do that and also to produce a receipt. Okay? When you buy sa size size store, you don't need naman na ang receipt. Dahil you're just paying for something, a certain thing that which you brought, which you bought in the Sari Sari store. Alright, so again, that's a cashier. How about this? Do you know what is it? I'll give you another 10 seconds. I guess you're very familiar with that. That is a doctor. So what is a doctor? Doctors are the ones whom we consult every time we are sick. 
Okay, they give us medicines. Or they recommend things for us to do in order for us to heal quickly. Okay? Doctors use the computer to check if the patient is sick or not. Okay? In the case of the doctors, they have so many machines in the hospital. Diba? They work in clinics and hospitals. And those machines are used to detect whatever sickness you have in your body. Okay? So those are doctors. They also use computers just like we do. But not the same computers which we have. Alright? Now let's proceed. How about this man in the picture? Who do you think is he? Another 10 seconds. In the picture is called a pilot. Okay? Ano ginagawa ng pilot? Pilots used to drive airplanes. Okay? So they use the computer to fly airplanes safely. They usually work in airports. Okay? Have you ever um, been to an airport? Have you ever rode an airplane? Okay, I guess some of you did. So, pilots use computers in order to bring us to our destination safely. Okay? So, they are the ones who drive the airplanes. Now, let's proceed to the next one. Okay, so this time, what we will be doing is that I'll be showing you the description about the person in the picture, then what we're going to guess is the workplace of that person, okay? So for us to know that, we're going to unscramble some letters which you will see in your screen. Are you ready? Okay? So what do you call that man in the picture? Mm -hmm. I guess you are already familiar with that. Okay, that is a police. Policemen use the computer to relay information of crime scenes and information, okay? So police are the ones who catch bad guys, the criminals, okay? And they also use computers in their work. They usually work in 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. So let us spoil the answer. They usually work in police stations. <laughs> Alright, now let's proceed to the next one. How about this? Who do you think is this? This is a very good scientist. Okay? Scientists are the ones who make experiments in order to discover new things. Scientists use the computer to do research and calculations. They usually work in 10 seconds to answer. Scientists usually work in science laboratories. I'm sorry, I think the letters given before are not accurate, especially for this uh, word. That's only laboratory. But they usually work in science laboratories. Alright? So to sum it all, let's keep in mind that computers are helpful machines in the workplace. Different people use different types of computers. And lastly, computers make their jobs easier and faster. That's why computers are very important. There are a lot more people who are using computers to make their work more efficient and easier. That's why computers are very important. They are now part of our daily life. That's why we should take good care of our computers as well, okay? So for your activity, 
I want you to do the following task in your notebook. First, ask your father or mother how to use computers at work. Write your an write their answers in your notebook. Okay? If you do not have your father or mother with you, you can ask your guardian, your tito, tita, or grandparents, lola or lola. Second, also in your notebook, I want you to name other uses of the computer in the workplace, okay? A while ago, I gave you five examples of people who are using computers in the workplace. So I want you to name other uses of computers. You can give me at least three. Right after you finish your work, I want you to take a picture of it and then send it to teacher using Messenger, okay? If you do not know how to use Messenger, just ask your parents to send it to me through Messenger, all right? So if you're not yet acquainted with me as a messenger, um, you can just add me. My name in messenger is Mara Anthony Rodriguez. And you can send your finished work in that account. Alright? So I hope you learned something today. And that would be all for now. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you in our next class. Goodbye. Thank you.